online platforms are becoming more convenient and more favorable platform for many of us. With ever increasing use of these uh, platform, we, we have started saving our card details in this platform like Amazon, Mindra, Flipkart, etc. But recently, RBI has prohibited these merchants from saving our card details. What did the RBI intend to do? Do the customers need to enter their card details manually every time? Perhaps the answer is no. The RBI has come up with a new scheme called card tokenization. Let's see what is card tokenization in from the UPSC CSC perspective. Hello everyone, I am Teresa Zorz. Welcome to Egam IAS. <music> Say why card tokenization was news. Card tokenization was introduced by RBI in the year 2090, but it goes on extending. Now it has been extended till September 30, 2022. That is, after September 30, 2022, online merchants are prohibited from saving our credit or debit card details. That is, online merchants can't store the customers credit or debit card details. Before going on to card tokenization, let's first see what is card on file. That is, for instance, a customer buys a product from say uh, Amazon or Flipkart, anything. And after the purchase, he reaches the payment stage. He, uh, he or she had entered the credit or debit card details. After entering the details, the site will ask a question. Do you wish to save this card for future purchases? Most of us will save the card for future purchases in order to make the future payments easier. This is what is termed as card on file. That is card information that is stored in the website that is stored by a payment gateway and a merchant in order to make the future purchases easier is what is termed as card on file. But since the retail merchants save this card for future payments, there may be threat a uh, threat of exposing this credit card or debit card details which are considered as sensitive information because of the weak security measures that are adopted by these online merchants. That is why RBI has come up with card tokenization. Let's see the card tokenization working. As before, for instance, a customer buys a product from an online merchant say Amazon. Here is the payment stage and the card details. After entering the card details, the online merchant, for uh, in this case it is Amazon, uh, say Amazon, will request our card provider, our card provider may be Rupee card, MasterCard, anything, will request our card provider to provide a token. This token will be a combination of the 16 digits number in our credit card or debit card, our CVV number and the expiry date. The token will be unique for each online merchants and for each device. And this token will be used for the future transactions. A car customer makes a purchase and the card number is processed. Card number is sent to a secure wallet. In this case, it is card network provider. And the card network provider convert this card number into a secure token. And this token is saved for current and future transactions. In this case, the card details is not saved, but the token number is saved for future purchases. This is how the card tokenization works. So, what is tokenization? Tokenization simply means replacement of our actual credit card or debit card details by a unique token. And this token will be device specific. That is, if we are buying from our mobile phone, a token will be provided if we if we are buying the same product from the same merchant from a tablet then the uh, token will be different since the token number is unique for each devices the uh, misuse of this token number by online products can be minimized or can be prevented and the next important point is this uh, token number is specific for each e-commerce platform that is, the token number will be different for different platform. Like 
the token number for Amazon will be different from that of token number for Flipkart which will be different from that of Swiggy etc. That is e-commerce platform specific token number will be issued by the netcard network provider. Next who will provide this token service that means who will provide this token number. In India token number can be provided by card issuing bank or card network card network provider card issuing bank means whose card you are holding say it may be south indian bank state bank canara bank etc banks can issue the uh, token number and the another one is card network provider that is mastercard rupee card etc in india the token number is, is issued by the card network provider and then the next term is token requester token requester the word means who requests token uh, as i said earlier we are making payment a customer buys a product makes a payment and the online merchants request the card network provider to provide a token so in this case token requester may be amazon flipkart swiggy etc that is the online merchants are the token requester and the next important point to notice tokenization is not mandatory that is customers who does not wish for card tokenization can do so but the credit card or debit card details that is saved in the uh, online merchants website will be deleted after september 30 2022 after that those customers who does not wish for card tokenization has, has to enter the card details manually every time they purchase from the online sites and the next important thing is this card tokenization is applicable only to domestic e-commerce platform not to inter not to international only to domestic e-commerce platform this is all about card tokenization we have a model question to solve with reference to card tokenization which of the following statements are correct statement one token number can be issued only by the card issuing bank statement two once card tokenization is implemented no domestic online platform can store credit or debit card details statement three token number will be different for different devices and for different e-commerce platform select the correct answers using the code given below Option A 1 and 3 only, Option B 2 and 3 only, Option C 1 and 2 only, Option D 1, 2 and 3. Please try to solve this question and comment your answer in the comment box and the answer, the detailed explanation as well as the uh, notes of card tokenization will be provided in our telegram channel. The telegram channel link will be provided in the description box. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.